yeah, reanimate the dead is one of the more uh, it is one of the better conjuring magics that you can get because you can revive a person you just killed, then immediately sneak attack them again. So it's a very cheap way of getting your sneak bump, your sneak attack skill up. But hey, it's like I said earlier. If I wasn't, if if I. Er, if I wasn't playing a freaking sneaking guy that I am right now, then I wouldn't have to resort to taking cheap shots. Stop running. My sneak attacks will happen whether you like it or not. Apparently not on this guy. Oh well. More fucking fodder for my sneak attacks, thanks. Lady, but I like my sneak attacks where they are. If you manage to sneak attack a gargoyle, they'll go down pretty quickly. And of course, then there's a whole matter of making sure to loot their body because usually they'll have something pretty good on them. Damn it, just out of range. Not about range. How is that not a sneak attack? God damn it. I'm just gonna sit right here for a couple seconds. I sneak go back down and attempt it once more. Hi, right, buddy. Okay, seriously, how is this not sneak attacking? Oh, now you give me the sneak attack. Frick. Let's see if I still have the... No, wait. No, I don't. I'll help you in a minute, waiting for my sneak bonus, or my meter to go back to hidden. It'll take a while. Alright, Amethyst. Yeah, these things, as I stated earlier, are nice. Which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this now instead of at a later time, because, uh, hey, it's getting me quite a bit of money once I'm out of here. Just a quick trip over to the Thieves Guild, hit some smithing up, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. There we go. Now then, this is another one of those split path things. Ooh, I'll take that. 
and I see nothing else that is shiny in here. You can access this place by going the other way, but I like coming through here. Excuse me. Ah, there it is. Hi, buddy. I don't think he liked being poked. Hi, buddy, again. Hey, buddy, I'm back here. Nice. I'm just being pushed around everywhere. Fuck this noise. Now this is where we would have come from earlier. If we would have went through that gate that we picked up after killing the uh, gargoyle, we would be coming up through here. I prick. This is some fairly easy sneak attacking. You stop being a jerk. I want to waste another freaking invisibility potion. I mean, geez, just in this one recording set alone, I got my sneak attack up quite a bit. Of course you're not going to stop being a jerk. Gonna have to pull the old... Ow, move, move. Fuck you. Yeah, if you can't seem to get away from an enemy and you don't want to waste a invisibility potion just to do that, just jump off a ledge. They won't chase you. Ever. Well, they will, but... It'll take them a lot longer to get down to you. Hey, yeah, thanks for the distraction. Got a good, uh, at least I got a sneak attack on one of them. Knock knock. Who's there? Dickhead. Dickhead who? You're a dickhead. Well, we're almost out of here. Oh, this is the last room. And this is by far the most annoying room to deal with because we got four Chimera that we can potentially fight in this area. One down. The other ain't down. God damn it, bitch. When I kill a fucking gargoyle, it needs to stay down because I need to hold on to whatever it drops. Let me loot this body. Funny thing here, viewers. If you come up here, if you go up that ladder, they will not be able to follow you. They won't be able to attack or anything. Just sit up here on top of this ladder, and they won't come up after you. For some reason, these enemies are unable to climb up slightly 
upward tilted ladders. taken care of. This place stumped me as well. I could not figure out that there was a difference between that one there and that one there. I could have theoretically just opened up that door and ran right through, but then I wouldn't have gotten the sneak attack experience. Because if y'all haven't figured out yet, Sneak attacks are the best way to upgrade your sneaking skill. Alright, now that we're up here, let's see if I can find what I need. There it is. Take the journal. No. Want the bone meal. I want all the bone meal. I want all of everything. She must have spent years collecting these Come on. Get out of there. There we go. Torches. So I got other stuff that I want to pick up. All of this stuff, alchemy, is awesome. And of course, since this is a alchemy lab-ish area, there will obviously be something that increases your uh, alchemy skill. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that we found her journal. Let me take a look at it. I only know what she told. Me. She had a theory about soul death. Yeah, I know I'm speeding through this text quite quickly, but eh. if I'm reading this right, this I'm impatient right now. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those. So we gotta find three sets of ingredients. Shouldn't be all that hard to find, considering we already picked up one of them. Quills, okay, this stuff is useless. Elven dagger, soul shard, soul shard, actually, I want to hold on to that elven dagger. Because soon enough I'm going to go over to Ripton and adopt another kid. Definitely be sure to pick up the black soul gems. Black Soul Gems are the best Soul Gems in the entire game. They're even better than, well, not quite the best Soul Gems in the entire game. There's one that's better, but it's a Daedric Artifact. But that's not the exact point of the matter. The point of the matter is that Black Soul Gems, with a fully with a fully charged greater soul in it will give off the best uh, will give off the best overall results in enchanting. I've already got a black soul gem with a uh, I've already got a black soul gem with the to do that. Will I ever do that? Anyways, I do already have one black soul gem with a greater soul already trapped within it. Anyways, 
all of the components that we needed and all of the ingredients we could have picked up. So time to nom on everything. I have so many status effects when I get out of this. All right. That crap in there. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my. I'll be here. Don't take too long now. All right, my preparations are done. Let's fucking do this. Let's do this. Well, that's impressive looking. And down we go. So, viewers. This seems like a perfect place to go on and leave off. <sighs> Got quite a bit done this episode. So I do believe I'll go on and just see y'all next time, viewers. Cheers.